Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2003 Road Trek 190 Popular with 225,738 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2003 Road Trek 190 Popular. I'm going to jump right into this one here and get going. we got about 72 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. About 68 and a half here in the rear part where it steps up a little bit. This is a wet dry basin here. There's a drain below this cover. So our shower is going to happen here in the center of the RV. You can pull this curtain around the track to help contain that. We're going to show you the bathroom and shower a little closer here in just a few moments. Nice easy to get up into this coach here. Fire extinguisher for safety. These are cup holders. Got a screen window here. There's a mechanism to open that behind this little flap. Storage rail up top here by the entry. Good spot for your sunscreen, little things like that. Command center here with our levels test for our, all of our holding tanks. Don't always trust these. These can be very finicky. Water pump on off. That's going to pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Coach battery disconnect. will disconnect the coach battery to prevent parasitic draw. It's also going to disconnect the charging systems to that coach battery, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, or the alternator while you drive. Porch light switch. Start and stop for the Onan generator. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. Nice drawers. Some spots to tuck things down low. Nice mirror here for when you're getting ready. Opens up to reveal the bathroom area. Fantastic fan overhead is going to act like an exhaust fan. Take your moist air out. The TV antenna crank on the ceiling. You can also use the fantastic fan like an exhaust fan or an attic fan, I should say. If you open up the windows, it'll bring the cool outside air in. Storage up top. Hood light and fan. Stainless backsplash. Water heater on off here that ignites itself. Two AC plug-ins, put your coffee pot, other things like that here. Microwave is going to work on the plug-in or the generator only. It's a little slide out here. Get you some extra counter space. Storage down low. The closet here. Hang your jackets. Table leg and the clover style table. There's a table mount here in the front. There's one in the rear. Another spot to tuck things for your journey. Two burner propane cooktop. Single basin sink. This is a three way fridge freezer. So a three way, meaning it runs on AC power. So the short power plug in or the generator. DC, meaning the coach battery system or propane gas. There's instructions in the bottom of the box if you forget how to do that. I'm going to use the buttons on the front here. I recommend leaving that in auto. It'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Furnace down here. Some other storage spots that we're going to see some pictures of here in just a moment when we check out the bed. There's different doors you can lift up if you have the cushions picked up to access some of these spaces. There's also another table here that's going to fill in the spot here along with another board to make up the big bed. So we have two twin beds here or you can do a big bed and have somewhat of a king back here. Check that out here in just a second. Storage going back, cool cat AC and heat pump. It's operated via the thermostat there. More storage. Got the bread box door here. More storage, 12 volt power. Screen windows in the back on both sides. These rear windows open, but they do not have screens. Got curtains for privacy all around. Two seat belts in the back. You can push those down beneath the cushions. Two up front, so a total of four belts in here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what this bed area looks like made up and get some measurements. The rear twin beds measure approximately 73 and a half inches north, south, or front to back, and 25 and a half inches east, west, or side to side on the driver's side, and just a little shorter at 69 inches north, south on the passenger side. If you make up the big bed in the back, it measures approximately 69 to 73 and a half inches north, south, or front to back, and 72 inches east, west, or side to side. This is the water heater and fuse panel. Access to storage that can also be accessed through the rear door. And the cold weather fresh water tank and propane furnace. Why did the clown wear loud socks? So his feet wouldn't fall asleep. AC power back here. There's one underneath the cabinet over here. This TV is on a swivel mount, so you can swivel it out to face the front. Both seats swivel in the front. However, the passenger seat is going to get a better position due to the steering wheel in the cabinet here impeding the driver's seat. We have speakers in the rear that play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. Pull this curtain around for privacy while you're parked. Manuals. I'm gonna call this Road Trek a seven out of 10. I met the folks that had this one prior. They took good care of it. Not perfect, it has been on a lot of adventures, but it has some more left in it. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, and CD player. Clean looking front end. Cigarette lighter is not in here. I'm not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, smells. I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2003 Road Trek 190 Popular. This RV measures 20 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 19, 22 date codes. This RV is built on a Chevy Express 3500 chassis with a six liter V8 engine with 225,738 miles. Got a pretty good looking exterior on this one for the miles. We have actual alloy rims. A little scuff down there on the step up and in. Some age on the stripes. Here and there, as you expect with the age furnace exhaust. Air conditioner comes out the rear. Storage beneath the sofa in the back. The propane tank is behind this little plastic door. Tow package. Fill here for the inside winter tank so that's located beneath this couch here that's a smaller tank which you can use for colder weather camping if you have questions about that ask us at the time of sale and we'll help you with that fuel fill this will run the engine and the generator generator exhaust back of our water heater back of the refrigerator outside shower this is where the city water is going to come in here if you open this valve it will fill the onboard fresh water tank storage 30 amp shore power plug-in. Outside shower is nice for keeping sand, mud, things like that out of the motorhome. Sewer drain down here. Everything's gonna come out of the same port. You're gonna do the black first and then the gray. This is the exhaust over the cooktop. Fill for the main freshwater tank. Use the water pump to pump that out. The front seats do swivel. You can do that with this mechanism here. Check this out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Beams are going to be need dusted off. Yeah. In December of 2021, we embarked on a new journey. Crystal Fountain Park is Ohio's first spiritualist camp and the most iconic landmark in our small town of 800 and has welcomed guests from around the world for over 100 years. Hailed after its construction in 1910 as one of the most spacious and beautiful spiritualist auditoriums in the United States, this local landmark had fallen by the wayside and we knew we had to do something. 
So we bought it with one goal in mind, to restore it to its former glory. Research papers at our local library about the park end as follows. So draws to a close a wonderful era, a time rich with history that only through stories passed down, generations to come will recall a bustling and eccentric evolution of history in a small village in Northwest Ohio. But what they didn't know was, the next chapter of the story is just beginning.